Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down 100 more facts that might save your life one day. If you have a potentially life-saving fact, drop it in the comments and we can all learn together. Cold conditions can be deadly. Symptoms of mild hypothermia include shivering and mental confusion. In moderate cases, shivering stops. Severe cases can include hallucinations and paradoxical undressing. Get warm and seek immediate medical treatment. If you're trying to carry out a rescue, there's a chance you yourself could become in need of rescuing. Prioritize your own safety and check for danger when attempting a rescue. Untrained first responders risk becoming casualties themselves, especially in urgent situations. A flu vaccine uses a deactivated or weakened version of the virus to train your body to recognize it. This allows your immune system to develop antibodies and fight the flu better when you actually catch it. Influenza or the flu isn't something to be sniffed at. You are more likely to survive choking on something if you have people around you to help. So if you're choking, don't get embarrassed and walk away from people. Instead, perform the universal sign of choking with both hands on your neck, and others around you should realize what's going on. Most venomous snakes have thin, cat-like pupils, while non-venomous snakes have round pupils. However, there are exceptions, like the venomous coral snake. Solid-colored snakes are often non-venomous, whereas colorful ones are typically venomous. If you're in a forest and there's a moment of sudden silence, pause and listen attentively. The silence could indicate the presence of a predator nearby. Remain vigilant and be aware of your surroundings. Campfires can repel wild animals since they signal where humans are. However, bears aren't repelled by campfires and can instead use them as a beacon to wander into camp. Be aware of your surroundings and whether or not making a fire is the best idea for your situation. Africanized bees, also known as killer bees, are more aggressive than other bee species and can swarm and attack humans if disturbed. They also chase people further, up to a quarter mile, than other varieties of honeybees. If someone faints, don't keep them upright. Blood drops down into the legs when upright, reducing the amount of blood returning to the heart, leading to decreased pumping ability and lowered blood pressure. Instead, gently catch them and lay them down in recovery as soon as possible. Fainting occurs when the brain requires more blood to function properly, so keeping the person standing can exacerbate the situation. People faint for a lot of different reasons. You want to help them to the ground, call 911, and stay with them until help arrives. Boredom could be slowly killing you. Studies have shown that boredom is linked to depression, anxiety, stress, and unhealthy lifestyle choices. The opposite of burnout at work is known as bore out. One well-placed hit or misplaced step can lead to fatal injury in any fight. No conflict is better than winning a conflict, as even a brief fight can have disastrous consequences. So de-escalate a situation if you can. If there's no preventing a physical altercation, fight dirty. Go for the groin, eyes, or ears. While this might seem obvious to some, Texting or calling while driving is incredibly dangerous. The same goes for eating and drinking while driving. When you try to multitask like this, it can cause inattentional blindness, where you fail to perceive fully visible objects. This can lead to fatal accidents. Don't grab a dog's collar when breaking up a dogfight, as this might cause them to bite you. Instead, lift the dog's back legs under the hip like a wheelbarrow and move backward, away from the other dog. While most minor animal bites are not serious, some lead to a life-threatening infection. This includes bites from domestic and wild animals. Clean the wound with soap and water, apply antibiotic cream, and cover the wound with a clean dressing. Seek urgent medical care if the wound is swollen, painful, or leaking fluid. Landslides and rock slides can be deadly. If you're caught in one, move quickly away. 
find cover and shield your head using your arms to avoid getting hit by falling debris. Green potatoes are toxic to humans. Potatoes become green when exposed to sunlight, causing the production of solanine. Eating them can cause symptoms such as nausea, headache, and in severe cases, even death. In case you're not freaked out enough, the part above the plant, you know, that grows above ground, that contains leaves and stems, it also grows these cute little berries. Don't eat those berries! Those little guys contain 10 to 20 times the glycoalkaloid and they will lay you out. If your clothes catch fire, you will get burnt. So before it does too much damage, remember, stop moving, drop to the ground, covering your face with your hands, and roll to extinguish the fire by depriving it of oxygen. If you're stuck out at sea, do not drink seawater. The salt in the seawater will dehydrate you faster than the water will hydrate you, bringing you even closer to death. Don't you know the poem? Water, water everywhere, so let's all have a drink. Homer, no! Tornadoes rip through the higher floors of buildings, so if you're caught up in one, go to the lowest room inside. Ideally without windows, preferably the basement, but ensure you don't take shelter where heavy objects would be directly above you. It can be hard to spot people from the air, so if you find yourself in the wilderness and need to signal to an aircraft for help, use a mirror or reflective object to flash sunlight and attract attention. Speaking of being lost in the wilderness, if you are lost and think you'll be there for a while, your first step should be to find shelter and water. The first thing to kill you could be hypothermia. Some species of fish are poisonous to humans. Improper preparation of certain fish like the pufferfish or fugu can lead to paralysis and even death. Demoic acid, a toxin produced by specific types of algae, can cause seizures and fatal consequences upon consumption of contaminated seafood. It typically accumulates in shellfish, sardines, and anchovies. Found in tide pools in the Indian and Pacific Ocean, the blue-ringed octopus produces a neurotoxin that can cause paralysis and death. And there is no known antivenom, so stay away! And then you find out that little tiny creature could have killed you and over 20 people. Talk about a shocker. Speaking of octopuses, or octopi, while it's rare for a giant octopus to attack a human, it can be very dangerous if they do. If one does grab you, swim away forcefully. Don't go limp or let its arms wrap around you, or you'll have difficulty escaping. Try to detach it from its anchor so it can't drag you down and head towards the surface. They dislike air and will likely let go, but if they don't, peel off those suckers! Volcanic ash can be dangerous to breathe in, especially if you have conditions like asthma or emphysema. Since it's frozen lava, you're basically breathing in glass, lacerating your insides and causing potentially permanent scars in your lungs. While a filtration mask isn't an absolute solution, it can't hurt to bring one along. Radon is a colorless, odorless radioactive gas present in most soil. However, it can get trapped in your home, causing a buildup that can lead to lung cancer. Symptoms of exposure include shortness of breath, coughing, pain or tightness in the chest, and trouble swallowing. You can have your home tested by a professional or with a do-it-yourself kit. Another odorless and colorless gas that can be dangerous is carbon monoxide which is released by engine exhausts, fireplaces, and appliances that burn wood, gas, oil, or coal. The most common symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning are headache, dizziness, weakness, upset stomach, vomiting, chest pain, and confusion. If you think you've been exposed, get some fresh air and call emergency services. And make sure to change the battery on your carbon monoxide detector. Ticks are small, spider-like creatures that feed on the blood of animals. They are also carriers of diseases, such as Lyme disease. If you're bitten by one, watch for symptoms, such as a rash, fever, and fatigue. Major earthquakes have rarely ever been predicted, so if you ever find yourself in one, drop to your hands and knees so you don't get knocked over. Cover your head and neck and get underneath something sturdy like a table or a desk. Hold on to whatever shelter you have 
and be prepared to move with it if it begins to shift around. At 8,000 feet, or 2,500 meters above sea level, you can suffer from altitude sickness. You'll feel like you've got a hangover, headache, puking, dizziness, tiredness, no appetite, and breathing troubles. When hiking or climbing, ascend slowly, 1,000 feet a day. If you suspect you have altitude sickness, stop and rest for at least 24 to 48 hours. If you don't feel better, descend to a lower altitude. When you have a nosebleed, tilting your head back can cause blood to go down your throat, choking you, or irritating your stomach. Instead, apply an ice pack to reduce swelling, pinch the nostrils together, and lean forward slightly. Drowsy driving is extremely dangerous. If you're feeling sleepy behind the wheel, pull over, let someone else drive, drink coffee, or nap before continuing. As a passenger, be aware that you are the failsafe in this situation, and be prepared to wake up a sleeping driver by calling their name or shaking them. A bright flashlight can be an effective tool when defending yourself at night. Shine a light in an attacker's face and you can momentarily blind them, giving you a chance to escape danger. Diet has little influence on the body's detoxification. There is no evidence that detoxification diets rid the body of toxins. Some of these detox diets can have serious side effects, so be careful and do your research. Just because the traffic light is green does not mean you are safe to go. Many people still die in car accidents even if they have right of way. Always keep an eye out for oncoming dangers. Financial troubles drastically increase the risk of someone attempting to take their own life. Various factors are at play here, including systemic issues, but it's important to manage your money carefully to mitigate this problem. And look out for friends and family who are experiencing money problems. The World Health Organization estimated that dust and household air pollution were responsible for 3.2 million deaths per year in 2020. Much of this pollution comes from open fires and inefficient stoves, especially in rural areas. Try to make sure your home is well ventilated, and avoid kerosene, biomass, and coal as fuel sources. That being said, outside, the air isn't so fresh either. The World Health Organization estimated that ambient air pollution caused 4.2 million premature deaths worldwide in 2019. Check air pollution forecasts and support policies for cleaner transport and industry management. Jumping in elevators might seem fun, but the impact accumulates unseen damage. Roughhousing in one might be the last straw on an already strained system. So don't screw about! <laughs> don't mess with escalators either! Escalator accidents have resulted in amputation, strangulation, and even death. Carjacks are meant for lifting, not holding. So don't go underneath a car that's just supported by a carjack, or you might get crushed. Instead, use jack stands, which are inexpensive and readily available. When in a desert, you are much more likely to become dehydrated from water loss than from lack of access to drinkable water. As such, don't overexert yourself. Cover your skin, breathe through your nose, seek shade, and avoid drinking diuretic drinks. Garbage collecting is one of the deadliest jobs in the United States. Hazards in our waste are a problem, as are impatient drivers who pass stop trucks only to hit collectors, slow down, and give garbage trucks a wide berth. You might feel fine after you hit your head, but the effects of traumatic brain injuries can take time. Even if you didn't hit your head that hard, have someone stay with you and seek medical attention if you experience headaches, dizziness, drowsiness, nausea, or confusion. Holy water has been linked to dangerous infections, rashes, and the spread of diseases. Because so many people use church fonts, it becomes a habitat for dangerous bacteria. In fact, most holy water is contaminated by fecal matter. So do not drink it! If your boat is sinking, you are more likely to survive the longer you stay out of water. 
Don't immediately jump out of the boat if it's taking on water. Stay on it and try to plug the leak while signaling for help. As tempting as it might be to fry up a meal after a few pints, cooking while drunk can be pretty dangerous. One survey from the UK found people putting cutlery in toasters, putting the wrong thing in the microwave, or even leaving the oven door open to warm up the room. Some even fell asleep while cooking, leaving an open flame unattended, burning their food, and smoking up the house. Please be careful. Delaying medical treatments or even ignoring symptoms can lead to more severe health problems and even death. So be sure to get regular checkups with medical professionals. You never know what might be wrong. Drinking a responsible amount of alcohol with friends is fine. But becoming blackout drunk can be incredibly dangerous. Memory loss might be the least of your concerns, as there is a real danger you could throw up and choke. Being so inebriated that you can't look after yourself is never a good look. Drink responsibly. Even if you've been talking to someone online for a long time, you still don't truly know who that person is. People can be completely different in person and potentially even dangerous. If you plan on meeting up with someone, video call before seeing them, meet in a public place, have a reason or excuse to leave shortly after, and always tell someone where you are going. Poor oral hygiene is linked to heart disease. The bacteria that infects the gums can also travel to blood vessels elsewhere in the body, where they cause inflammation and damage. This can lead to tiny blood clots, a heart attack, or even a stroke. A lot of things can fit in your refrigerator. Some are even big enough to fit a person. You might have even put your friends in there as a joke. But this is actually incredibly dangerous. There have been cases where people have suffocated to death due to the lack of oxygen in refrigerators. Most refrigerators also use dangerous, flammable, or toxic chemicals like Freon. So don't mess about with a refrigerator. Don't breathe in those gases and dispose of appliances safely when you're getting rid of them. The CDC estimates that 48 million people get sick from foodborne illnesses each year. It can happen more easily than you think. Make sure you cook and store your food correctly, wash your hands before eating, and don't ignore those expiration dates. There is an area on your face between the corners of your mouth and the bridge of your nose known as the Triangle of Death. Avoid popping pimples here, as if you get an infection, it can spread to your brain. We know it's hard, but just leave those zits alone. Taking lunch uh, orders, Mr. Reed. Anything? No, thanks. I'm... Um had so much for breakfast, I'm just about ready to pop. Inhaling paint or gasoline fumes can happen by mistake when you're painting or using gas-powered tools somewhere with bad ventilation. You might feel dizzy, get a headache, feel like you're gonna barf or even pass out. Over time, it can damage your brain, liver, kidneys, or other organs. So it's important to use the right safety gear, take breaks, and avoid working in poorly ventilated indoor spaces. Once upon a time, doctors in maternity wards didn't wash their hands between patients. A study in the 1840s demonstrated that hand washing dramatically decreased mortalities. Now it's common practice, but it proves the importance of washing your hands. You never know what might lurk on them, even if they look clean. Do you wear a lanyard? If so, you might have one that has a breakaway latch. These were invented to prevent choking or suffocation accidents, but this can also extend to necklaces and jewelry. Be careful, as you're wearing something close to a delicate part of your body. A tan is your body's way of trying to protect itself from the damaging effects of UV rays. Prolonged exposure to UV rays has been linked to malignant melanoma, the most serious form of skin cancer. Use sunscreen in the sun, and consider whether using a tanning bed is really worth it. You'd think that you could hear a train coming from miles away, but you can't. Trains can come much faster than you think with minimal warning signs. The sound gets bounced off and dampened by obstacles, distorting how far away it seems. Don't play on train tracks. Shit. 
Accidental or negligent weapon discharge can happen even if you don't have your finger on the trigger. The lightest pressure or even a malfunction of the internal mechanism can cause a firearm to go off. Even if you think there isn't a bullet in the chamber, don't ever point a weapon at someone unless you absolutely need to use it. Otherwise, what might have started as a joke could become deadly. You can overdose on over-the-counter medication, accounting for a significant proportion of overdose presentations in emergency rooms. When someone sprays on too much deodorant, it can be incredibly off-putting. But it's worse than you think. In the United Kingdom, a 16-year-old was so obsessed with smelling fresh, he would cover his entire body in deodorant at least twice daily. The gases in his body due to accidental inhalation later caused a fatal heart attack. You don't need to bathe in the stuff. Garage door springs carry a lot of tension. Even if one side is broken, the other could still hold in all that energy, and incorrectly replacing one can prove deadly. So be sure to hire a professional, or it could be your life on the line. Did you know that some states in the US have no safety regulations for amusement parks? Some leave it entirely up to the counties, with many not being required to record how many injuries or incidents they have had properly. Be extra careful the next time you want to go on a ride. The largest diameter hailstone recorded was bigger than a bowling ball. While hailstones that large are rare, it's best to take cover during a hailstorm. It's very common for people not to drink enough water. But did you know you can also overhydrate? When marathon runners drink lots of water, they sometimes add salts to balance out their electrolytes. Firing a shot into the air doesn't make the bullet suddenly disappear into space. You are responsible for everything that leaves your firearm's barrel and what it hits. Out of sight, out of mind doesn't work here. You never know where your content or conversations online will end up. They can be screenshotted, saved, copied, pasted, and spread to places you wouldn't even think of. So, before posting something, consider that whatever goes on the internet will stay on it, and you will have no control over it anymore. Chili peppers contain a chemical called capsaicin, which is what makes them spicy. It's the same stuff used in pepper spray. You would have to eat quite a lot to risk your life, but the results can nonetheless be extremely painful. <laughs> Safety gear for sports and work are there to keep you safe. Even if you think they're an encumbrance, wear them. They could have saved the lives of many, and they could save you. Eating disorders have the highest mortality rate of any mental illness in the United States. If you or someone you know are suffering, please seek help. A belt has many more uses than keeping your pants up. It can also be used in emergencies, like applying a tourniquet, creating an arm sling, or even defending yourself. It's important to remember different types of stressors before you make important decisions. Remember this acronym, developed for people recovering from substance abuse issues. HALT. Are you hungry? Angry? Lonely? Tired? You can understand why you might feel triggered or upset by checking in with yourself daily. That way, you can avoid making poor decisions that will make things worse. Allergies can develop later in life, even with things you might have been in love with when you were younger. This can be because of exposure to new allergens in the environment, family history, and changes in the immune system. So be careful! You might not be able to enjoy all that dairy, fish, or nuts without consequences. Benadryl. A lot of Benadryl. A lot, a lot of Benadryl. What? What? Mm -hmm. Mascot outfits can trap heat incredibly well, so performing rigorous activity for prolonged periods can quickly lead to heat exhaustion. Take regular breaks and stay hydrated if you ever find yourself in one. 
When a microwave oven is turned on, the appliance begins producing microwaves, which causes the item inside to vibrate until it's hot. Metal is bad at absorbing microwaves, causing sparks to fly and even an explosion. So keep metal out of the microwave. It happens more than you'd think. If you find someone unconscious, putting them into the recovery position could save their life. After you've checked that the area is safe and called emergency services, place their arm closest to you at a right angle to their body, with the elbow bent and palm facing up. Put their other arm across their chest and the back of their hand against the cheek closest to you. While holding their arm there, pull their furthest knee up until their foot is flat on the ground and roll them over onto their side facing towards you. Tilt their chin back to open their airway and check for blockages. Electric devices don't just break in water. They can also send out electrical currents. It takes very little water to be electrocuted, so please keep appliances and devices away from water. Dialing emergency services might work even if your phone says you have no signal. In the United States, networks must push through emergency service calls on any available network, even private ones. So don't be afraid to call if you need it. After you've had people over, make sure that windows and doors are locked properly to prevent a possible intrusion, as some people forget to lock doors or tradesmen forget to remove tape from latches. Even if you don't know how to swim, it can be relatively simple to float. Relax, take some deep breaths, lie backwards and stretch your arms and legs out. Keep your face out of the water and only make gentle movements. Let yourself bob about. And now think about how you're going to get out of the water. It's common for people to charge their phones in their bed, but the charger can give off heat. And if that heat has nowhere to go, it might catch a flame. If you watched our last video, you should know that blue light from phones prevents you from sleeping anyway. So charge it elsewhere, or maybe even in another room. Speaking of electrical fires, overloaded extension cords are also dangerous. This is because when too many devices are plugged in, the cord can overheat and catch fire. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Trains are bigger and wider than the tracks. So even just standing beside a track while a train passes by could seriously injure you. Cars that catch fire can very quickly explode. If you are in a car accident and a car is on fire, get out of the car as quickly as possible and move at least 100 feet away from the burning vehicle. An old folk remedy for burns described covering them with oil, grease, or butter. The idea was to seal the burn from air, preventing infections. However, medical advice has advanced since then. You should, instead, cool the burn with running water for 20 to 30 minutes. Using these other substances can hold the heat in the skin, worsening the burn. Wearing a seat belt in a car can reduce the risk of death or serious injury by up to 50%. Mosquitoes kill more people than any other animal, responsible for almost 1 million deaths a year through the transmission of diseases such as malaria and dengue fever. When traveling to high-risk areas, bring anti-malarial medication. If you're bitten, watch out for symptoms, and if you do feel sick, seek medical attention. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. The box jellyfish is considered the world's most venomous marine animal, with enough venom in one tentacle to kill up to 60 humans. There are artificial intelligences that can copy every part of your likeness, from your style of speaking, physical appearance, and even your voice. As such, everyone is even more at risk of falling prey to very convincing scams and fake news. Do your research, be scrutinous, 
and maybe even have a keyword for your close friends or family in case you get targeted by people using this technology maliciously. Yeah, because I can only imagine a parent getting a call, oh. pretending that it's a child, oh, saying, a we need money, we have your... Yeah. I mean, right, how That's scary exactly is that? Right. Intergenerational trauma is when the effects of trauma transmit to the children of those who have suffered traumatic experiences. It can benefit both you and your kids to seek help when it's needed and take care of your mental health. Different countries have different laws. Some enforce long prison sentences and even the death penalty for crimes that are treated more leniently in other places in the world. Make sure to carefully research the laws in countries you're traveling to and avoid breaking any local laws. Hair dryers, curling irons, and other heated styling tools can reach really high temperatures, making them burn hazards if misused. Despite common belief, Twinkies do not remain edible for decades. They typically have a shelf life of around 45 days and, like most other food, can lead to food poisoning if eaten after the recommended date. There's a common misconception that tampons are an effective way to stop the bleeding of a gunshot wound. This is not the case. Inserting a foreign object into the wound can cause further injury and bleeding. Instead, Apply pressure to the wound and call for emergency medical assistance. Lightning can and often does strike twice in the same place. During a thunderstorm, lightning tends to hit objects or locations that are more conductive or prominent. For example, the Empire State Building in New York is struck by lightning approximately 23 times yearly. Antibiotics will not cure or even aid a cold. These are prescribed to treat bacterial diseases and secondary infections, and are generally ineffective against viruses. Urine is not sterile, not even in the bladder. So if you've ever heard that you should pee on a jellyfish sting or wounds to sterilize it, don't. She's my friend and she needed help. <laughs> if I had to, I'd pee on any one of you. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.